Hi, Fidel here with AllSimBaseball.com. Uh, I'm going to show you in this first video how to set up everything in your game, uh, the FTP stuff anyway, and uh, let's just go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to notice is you've probably gotten an email that says something like this, your site is ready, so go ahead and click on that. There's some information here, please read it very carefully because uh, often I will get emails uh, regarding things that are explained in in these couple of paragraphs here. And then there are some videos here that uh, you will be watching. Part one is the one you are watching right now. Uh, be sure to revisit this video if you need to. We're going to go ahead and click on the text document called mywebsiteinfo.txt. We're going to go ahead and download that. For now, I'm going to go ahead and just save it to my desktop. And uh, I do not recommend you leave yours on your desktop, but for the purposes of this video, uh, that's exactly what we're going to do. So here we have the game, and here we have my website text info. So as you can see, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Let's go ahead and get started with the game. Okay, in the game, you want to go to Game, Game Settings, Online League, Enable Online League Mode, and then Online League Settings. Okay, here we go. First of all, we're just going to do some simple copy and paste. Uh, I don't recommend typing because we'll make typos doing it that way. So. First of all, your host and port for League File Upload Options is located here, League File Upload Options. So let's go ahead and copy that one. And we're going to paste it there. The FTP username is here. Copy and paste the password I'm going to copy this is a little bit tricky be sure to just get rid of that first and then paste target path on server is just like this slash lg file And the league name, the league file name is always put for you, so you don't have to worry about that. So we'll go to the next section. League file download options. Use FPT to download league. Let's check mark that. It expanded a few extra things here, so let's go ahead and fill in the same stuff. Now it's going to be slightly different as you go down. Some of it's the same, but don't be fooled. Uh, whoops. Copy because there, there are slight differences. Okay, we're going to do the username, copy, paste. Actually, the username, the host, and the password are all the same for most of this. But again, to be on the safe side, do each one separately. Oops. This one is also league file, copy, and paste. Make sure you don't have any strange letters in there like that, or, or you're going to run into problems later. League file URL, we can just leave that blank because we're using FPT, uh, FTP to download the files, so we'll leave that blank. Let's scroll down a little bit further and continue with the report upload options. Here we are, report upload options. Again, the host, username, and password are the same. Host, username, and password. 
copy that. Oops. And the target path on server. Now you notice it's just a little bit different. It's slash slash LG reports. Put that in. Reports URL. This one we're going to put in. Copy and paste. Okay. And ah, right here it says method upload files one by one. We do not want that. We want to choose upload reports to MySQL database. There we go. Now we're going to have this here that says create PHP server script files. We're going to hold off on that just for a moment. We're going to finish these other settings here. Team file transfers. So scroll down in your text file. Team file transfer options. Here we go. Again, some of the information is the same. Host username and password. The username and password. Password. And the path on server is different. This one goes to slash LG exports. The reports go to slash LG reports. And the league file goes to slash LG file. OK, now let's go back to the report upload options and then go to create PHP server scripts. OK, we have that information here too. create PHP server script files. OK, the database name, we're going to copy that and paste. Incidentally, it should be the same for the database user. So we're going to put the database you oops, let's just clear that out. Put that in. Okay, the table name. We can leave that the same. Uh, database host, local host. I'm sorry, we're going to put reports. That's what it says here. Copy. And reports, local host, that's fine. Uh, 3306 for the database service, that's fine. Now the password, very carefully copy and paste the URL of the reports folder. Again, we're going to copy and paste. It'll go something like this your URL slash game slash league reports. It's always like that. Now the path to the reports folder. Once again, very carefully copy and paste. Probably the number one mistake that is made is just a one small typing error or maybe copy and pasted. You may have copy and pasted something like this, but maybe you might have missed maybe an H like that. So you got to be careful with that. Uh, make sure it's exactly as it's written here in the text file, and you should have no problems at all. OK, so when we hit OK, a window is going to pop up, and we're going to have a, a file to, to upload. Uh, we're just going to keep that page open. We're not going to upload it yet until until later. But for now, let's just hit OK because that part is finished. OK, it wrote files to the to the DB config index PHP and HT access. These three files have to get uploaded to the server. We'll upload those uh, shortly. OK. OK, so here they are. We're, we're just going to minimize that and save that for now. Let's go back to these. We're going to test the files. I mean, sorry, we're going to test the settings. Okay, we scrolled right back up to the top. 
League file upload options. Let's test. And it looks like everything was successful there. Okay, let's test the League file download options here. And that is also successful. Good, that means no mistakes so far. Uh, the report upload options. That is also successful. And finally, the team file transfer options. Let's test those settings. Okay, that's it. Now, this is another option. Uh, there might be uh, there might be a way for you to set this up with your own uh, personal email, but uh, that's not going to be covered in this video. Okay, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video where we will start uh, actually putting things on the server.